In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to fix the issue of having your airdrop not working here on your iPhone. You might be in a situation where your airdrop simply doesn't allow you to turn it on. For example, as you can see in here, it's grayed out. You might be in a situation where it's grayed out or you might be in a situation where it's working, but it's simply not signing or you're not receiving files. You might be having an enable to receive or enable to send a specific file notification or pop up over there, or simply you might be trying and it's not working at all. Do not worry, I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue in today's video and do not worry because this works on any iPhone model. Whether you've got an iPhone 6, 7, 8, X11 all the way to an iPhone 17 Pro Max. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing and like the video. So jumping straight into today's tutorial, the very first thing that I would recommend you guys to do is if you're trying to receive an image or a video or something and it's actually sending but then you see an enable to receive or an error, that might be because you do not have space here on your iPhone. So quickly hop into settings real quick, scroll down all the way to general in here and then tap on iPhone storage. So over here you'll be able to see a broad representation of your space. So what's eating up a lot of space, how much space you have left on your phone and all that. So you wanna make sure that you do have some free space in here because if you're trying to receive a picture or a video without having space, of course it's not going to work. So double check this and if you're full here, make sure you free up some space here on your iPhone device. Now, if you double check that and that's not your problem, the next thing I would recommend you guys to do is to simply bring down the control center, turn on flight mode real quick, wait for a couple seconds, and then tap once again to actually disable flight mode. If this didn't help, no worries. Simply make sure you hop into settings real quick in here, tap on Wi-Fi, turn off Wi-Fi, go back, tap on Bluetooth as well, turn off Bluetooth, wait for a couple seconds, hop into Wi-Fi, turn it back on, go back, Bluetooth, turn it back on as well, and then try sending or receiving that specific file that you wish to transfer or send. Now, if this didn't help you fixing the problem, do not worry, we're moving into the next step in here, where we need to go back to settings real quick, scroll down all the way to screen time down here. We do have an option in here which says screen time. So you wanna tap once on screen time real quick, and here's where the magic actually takes place. You wanna scroll down and tap on content and privacy restrictions. Tap once on that, option and then simply tap here on allowed apps and features. So once you're here, you want to make sure that airdrop is toggled on. In my case, it's toggled off. So I'm going to turn it on immediately. This is so important. You want to make sure that you do not have this app disabled or restricted to be accessed here on your phone. For example, you might be in a company and using a phone from a specific company where they don't want you to share files from that specific iPhone, which belongs to the company. So they can actually deactivate AirDrop and you won't be able to access it. Next up, once you are sure that it's turned on, you want to go back, 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 and then go back to the homepage, bring down the control center, press and hold on AirDrop, and as you can see, I now have the option to turn on my airdrop. It now shows a blue color over there and it's no longer grayed out. So this step will work for you in case you are actually viewing a grayed out airdrop option over there. Now, if this didn't help fixing the problem that you've got, do not worry, we're moving into the next step. Now, it's important for you to follow the steps in the specific order that I'm showing them to you so you do not miss any step and everything makes sense because one step actually complements the other. Next up, we're going to hop into settings real quick in here. We're going to scroll down and tap here on general real quick. Next up, scroll down and you'll be able to see airdrop under Apple Care and Warranty and above AirPlay and Continuity. Tap on AirDrop real quick. And next up, you wanna make sure that your AirDrop settings is set to everyone for 10 minutes. You want to re-tap on this option every time you wanna receive folders or transfer files or pictures or videos, right? So basically, you wanna make sure you do not restrict it only for contact. And even if you keep it on contacts, for example, you might be having a bug, for example, you might be having a contact which is not being 
recognized as a contact. So you wanna make sure you tap on everyone for 10 minutes and not on contacts only or receiving off. Keep it on everyone for 10 minutes. Next up, you wanna give it a try and see if it's now working. If it's still not working, no problem. We're going back into settings and we wanna make sure that we do not have any VPN turned on. So simply tap here on VPN under settings and you wanna make sure that you do not have any VPN turned on. Here, for example, you can see that my VPN status is not connected. And that's exactly how we want things to look in here not connected at all. If you have anything connected, make sure you turn it off real quick and then restart your phone, turn it back on to see if the problem is fixed. Now, if the problem is not fixed, we're moving into the next step where we need to perform a forced restart on our iPhone. A forced restart is a process that helps calibrating your phone once you've changed a lot of settings in here. So basically it turns it off and turns it back on. No power will be sent to your motherboard for a couple seconds and then it reconnects automatically on its own. It cuts the power and then it reconnects and your phone actually reboots as if it was in a deep sleep. Do not worry, you won't lose any data. And I even recommend performing a forced restart every once in a while, every 15 days, just to make sure that your phone is running smoothly and processing well. So if you have an iPhone 8 or later models, for example, 8, X, 11, all the way to 17. In my case, I've got a 16 in here. To perform a forced restart, just need to tap on volume up real quick and then tap on volume down and then press and hold the power button. This is how it goes. Volume up, volume down, pressing and holding the power button. I've released those buttons, right? I'm only pressing and holding the power button. Wait for a couple seconds until you see the Apple logo on your screen. So once you see the Apple logo, you're going to release your power button. There we go, I've released my power button and my phone is now turning on from scratch. That's how it goes. As you can see, I've completely turned it off and it's rebooting from scratch. As I've said, I do recommend you to perform this once in a while every 15 days as it's really helpful to make sure that you do have a proper and good performance on your phone. Next up, let's simply unlock our phone and continue to the next step. If you do have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, the process to perform a forced restart is different. You just need to press and hold the volume down along with the power button. Press and hold both of the keys combination until you see the Apple logo and then release the keys, right? That's how it goes. Now, if you have an iPhone 6 or an iPhone with a physical home button, all you need to do is press and hold the physical home button along with the power button continuously until you see the Apple logo. Now, if you have a much older iPhone such as an iPhone 4 or 5, please note that the power button is located at the top. So you wanna press and hold the power button at the top along with the physical home button until you see the Apple logo. Now, if this doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got, we're moving into the next step where we need to hop into settings real quick Scroll down, tap on general, scroll down once again, and then tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Over here, we're gonna tap on reset real quick, and then you wanna tap on reset network settings. Do not worry, this doesn't delete your data, your files, or anything. It's just resetting to default settings, the network settings to enhance or to improve the connectivity process in here. This is also something that you can do once in a while. Now, if this doesn't help fixing the problem that you've got, I would recommend you guys to double check if your phone requires an update. Tap on general, tap on software update. You might be having a pending update in here or something that needs to be fixed because this can be related to a bug. So you wanna check for updates and see if you can update your phone to see if the problem get sorted out. Let me know in the comment section down below if this fix really worked for you and let me know if you do have any questions or any doubts so we can actually discuss down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching Fix by Shaq till the end and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.